like, mommy, you know, the thing about this. I always wanted to go to Howard and I went to Howard. And One. actually it was in February of 2004. Um, olives with cream cheese on dark rye. <laughs> <laughs> And <laughs> so it's, it's just, it's, remember, I'm a prosecutor. I have, I have focused on that. <laughs> I mean, in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> and Breaking. New leaks indicate that it was Kamala Harris who brought cocaine to the White House back in 2023. And it says here is the source. Well, I thought it helped. Uh, and at first, everything got better. Maybe because she started making more work trips. It was fine until last year's spring. Well, then the strange behavior suddenly returned. We understood everything. Gas, inappropriate laughter, outbursts of anger. It became immediately obvious to those who worked with Harris from the beginning. Now, at some point, everything reaches a point of absurdity. And there was a big scandal. Yes. You guys probably even heard about it. In July, security found a bag of cocaine. And the worst part of it was that it got leaked to the journalists. So the matter couldn't be hushed up before it became public. Now, luckily, all the right-wing media immediately rushed to blame Hunter Biden. But the left was smart enough to ignore the story. It was eventually hushed up. Uh, but I heard that afterwards, there was a very serious conversation between Harris and Biden. And the president was mad about what happened. Hunter Biden, unfortunately, was allowed to take the fall for this. And this really angered Joe Biden. Uh, but, you know, at this point, there is nothing he could do because it was either blame uh, Hunter or put the blame where it rightfully belonged on Harris and her staff, which, you know, that would have destroyed. Biden's campaign. Everybody knows that Hunter's a drug addict, but if people got wind that uh, Harris was partaking in the festivities, this would cause a major problem. So it was Harris who brought the cocaine? No, but the cocaine was brought in for Harris. The one from the staff brought it. Clearly, some high ranking staffer. Okay, so the thing is, this could be. AI, it could be a deep fake, it could be totally bunk, it could be totally f false, 100%. But I don't think it is. And I feel like for once, the Democrats, the left side, they need to prove their own innocence. Because I see this off coming from the other side. It says anyone who's ever been around people taking cocaine or taking it themselves can tell you with certainty she is loaded up in this video. So you guys, I have not taken cocaine. So I can't say for sure that she's loaded up in the video. But you can tell me, watch this. It's three minutes something. This screams cokehead, in my opinion. So I'd love to hear in the chat. Tell me what you think. I was like, mommy, you know, the thing about this. I always wanted to go to Howard and I went to Howard. And One. actually it was in February of 2004. Um, olives with cream cheese on dark rye. <laughs> 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 and <laughs> so it's, it's just, it's, remember, I'm a prosecutor. I have, I have focused <laughs> on that. <laughs> I mean, in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> and oh um, um, it was the assessor at the time. Can you perform some marriages? We need more people. <laughs> and <laughs> every like nook and cranny of City Hall. Yes. Important is that we also appreciate the nuance. Mm -hmm. You know, those are, there's a lot to do. There's a lot more to do. Who's <laughs> <laughs> over the age of 18 as though they're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it was doubling it, right? <laughs> right, where poor people sit in jail and people who have money get out, that there is no difference between those, any of the kids, our kids, and those kids who are otherwise in the system. So for example, um, yeah. not sell you a bag of you know what, yeah. um, but it was, it was difficult to do. It was, in large part, um, 
We've got big signs, dreamers, welcome here. I've got the rainbow flag. And they were like, why are you putting the rainbow flag? I had to get permission, but I got it. Um, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, yo, Ran. So, you know, hey, Ran, how you people doing? Really good? You know? <laughs> I've taught him how to chop the onions. <laughs> Oh, honey, baby, what happened? I'll take care of you. They are in California now, but New Jersey is very much in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then, you know, and they're originally from Brooklyn. Okay, so the first time I meet my mother-in-law, she looks at me, she puts my hand, my face in her hand. <laughs> So it's Barb and Mike, my father-in-law's Mike. She puts my face in her hand. She looks at me and she says, oh, look at you. <gasps> You're prettier than you are on television. Mike, look at her. No. <laughs> Yeah, I never got a single bit of that's funny. Uh, I did count at least 19 times that she touched her nose, which I've had a tickle in my nose before, and you can look back at other videos. Uh, it wasn't 20 in a pretty short period of times. I mean, I, I guess you could have a runny nose, but does she just wipe in boogers nonstop? I don't think so. And she kept, it was like, I'm just saying it screams coked up. So if this guy actually is a proper whistleblower who's coming out saying, hey, she acts crazy. She has maniacal inappropriate laughs. She has 92% turnover in her staff because they hate her. And she has crazy, angry outbursts, rage filled uh, scream sessions with her people. It's very possible that she's just an addict that acts crazy. You think she's just that dumb? Or is it more possible that she's on stuff and off stuff and drunk and high, late for everything, doesn't want to do any work, projects every failure of her and this administration onto her adversary? I mean, she sounds like the classic victim mentality drug addict but yeah nothing was funny about it and the october surprise possibly seems to be uh the kamala's a cokehead and i don't know what kind of idiot thinks that her as the masthead for the deep state black rock the illuminati is the right choice to vote for so trump 2024 uh, because the three, the three October surprises against Trump got killed before they even left the station. That's how weak and fake those BS claims were. And we'll get into those in a bit. If you want to catch me live, I'm streaming Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time over on Rumble. So if you want to see me or you want to support me or you want to connect on social media, all links are in the link tree below. And all announcements will be made in the Freethinkers Rebellion Discord server. So make sure that you join up there.